I used to laugh at things like law of attraction, what you think is what you create, anything related to energy, you attract who you are, anything of that nature I used to laugh at because I'm like, that's not true. And then I came across Antonio and his teachings of Law of Attraction. And at first I rejected it. Because again, I used to laugh at these things. And the more and more I listened to Antonio's teachings, the more and more things actually started making sense to me. Things started opening up for me. And things started changing for me. The law of attraction teachings that Antonio does have absolutely changed my life from the way that I parent to the person that I am today to the way I do business to the way I live my life. I never knew how important your thoughts and your emotions were and that you actually attract that. You know, we always say this is what I want. But what are you attracting deep within you? What vibration are you putting out there? And it took Antonio's teachings for me to be able to understand that while in my head I'm saying, this is what I want. The vibration that I'm putting out is a complete opposite. Once he taught me that, the next step was to teach me how to vibrate at what I wanted. And once I started vibrating at what I wanted, that's when I noticed just how real the law of attraction is. Antonio has taught me that thoughts plus emotion equal creation. How to vibrate at what you want. How to put yourself where you want to be. To feel it. To smell it. To taste it. To see it. How to touch it. Put yourself there and stay there and vibrate there and it will come to you, the people that you want to attract into your life, vibrate there, who are they, how do they look, what do they dress like, what are their characters, what, you know, who are they, and the biggest thing that he ever taught me was how to be a better me through law of attraction, I used to ask him, how do I become better, he was like, you create who you want to be. Because I didn't know at the time where I wanted to be. I just knew I wanted to be better. And he told me exactly how to do it. He said, find the people who you are drawn to. Find those who are where you want to be. And start moving like they move. Study them. What I didn't realize was he was teaching me how to attract my future self. And in the process of doing that, even attract being able to associate with these people be on the same level with them be in the same atmosphere and network with them and I have actually had the opportunity to start moving in that direction because he taught me how to attract that into my life and learning the law of attraction through Antonio has truly changed my life it has truly changed my success it has truly changed who I am today and while I am not perfect in the law of attraction staying on top of and consistently listening to Antonio's teachings remind me every day to be grateful to attract that into my life to only focus on the outcome and attract only the outcome in my life and don't get stuck in the how and the why just focus on the finish line and I'll attract the finish line into my life the law of attraction has made me a greater person I know it will do the same for you welcome all of you my name is Antonio T. Smith Jr. this is the coveted plant better mindset phone call in which we help you plant better seeds that are worthy of the life of you i do appreciate who you are i appreciate the opportunity to talk in front of you to you and around the world i do not take this lightly 
I appreciate those who are on the phone, staff included. I appreciate all of you. Share this information. Tonight, we will be talking about something very important. I won't be as long as usual because it's so important. I want you to take in all of the information. So take a few moments, share the feed. It is about to go down and nieces would say this is a lovely time in which you have the opportunity to win i want to talk to you about why you don't have what you keep speaking into your life before i do that let us move now into the announcement section of this phone hall there is a new book yay new book by myself it's called god at war you can find it right now on Amazon, and soon it will be in other platforms as well due to the fact that I have great staff. So go out there right now. They'll be posting it. You'll see the links, I'm sure. Right now is the absolute last day to get the Kindle version for free. They won't let me do it any further. Absolute last day to get the Kindle version of the number one best selling god at war for free last day <clears throat> go out there take some time and get it because you definitely <clears throat> want that book in your life also we have a podcast brick by brick motivation to podcast and you will find yourself there getting much help right now we have uploaded a 295 dollar financial course for free so you get the opportunity to listen to this financial course get your finances straight have a lot of fun getting there for free free is good she is right the book is great i do appreciate that as well so if you're ready get into your notes and your notepads. If you are ready, now is your time to pull out your app, take some notes, share this phone call, because tonight we are talking about why you don't have what you keep speaking into your life. This is a very easy phone call to do but a very difficult task to take up on. You see, most people will never take full responsibility for their lives. Some people escape to blame. Others escape to low self-esteem. Some escape to alcoholism. Others escape to drugs. Some even use religion improperly and escape to a higher deity so they don't have to take responsibility for their own lives. Either way, the truth is, everything you've ever had in this world, you are at this place because you've made an appointment to be here. Listen to me, listen to me well. Everything you have in your life right now, every relationship problem, every financial problem, Every relationship, prosperity. Every financial prosperity. Whatever you have in your life, from the kids, to the college, to the degrees, whatever you have in your life, whatever you love, or whatever you hate, however you've been hurt, or however you've been loved, from your physical injuries, to your spiritual injuries, to your emotional injuries, and even to your mental injuries, everything, you have in your life right now, you have made an appointment to receive what you have. Now let that seep in because that would never change. You don't have to like it. We can disagree, but it doesn't matter if you disagree because this is a law. You planted your own seeds of your own life and the moment you planted it, You schedule what you're currently complaining about. Now, if you're not complaining, 
if you love what your, your life, if you love the prosperity of it or, or, or whatever, it is not up to me to look at your life and tell you that your life is not good enough. The only way I can say that your life is not good enough is if, is when you complain about your life and when you say that your life is not good enough. But if you're not complaining, if you love where you are, if you love who you are, if you love your financial situation, if you love everything about it, then fret not, keep doing, keep playing your PlayStation, keep doing whatever you're doing. But if that is not the case, if you don't like where you are, you've made an appointment to be where you don't like. Now, right now, I want you, I want everybody right now to share that. Somebody quote it on your timeline, share it, do something. Make a note to share it on your timelines. Do whatever you have to do. Uh, share it here, copy it. I, however, if you can pull up two screens on your laptop, I want everybody out here to tell somebody before they go to bed tonight and before they go to bed tomorrow, you are where you schedule an appointment to be. Today is the fulfillment of all the appointments you set back days, weeks, and years ago. And the reason why you are here and not where you keep speaking you will be is because you have not learned the concept of dominant thoughts. This is very important. We need to understand this. It is not enough to think about something all the time. This is very important. I'm going to break this down to you as simple as possible. I'm going to give it to you as short as possible. I am going to give, I'm going to give myself away. The reason why you have what you have and you do not have what you keep speaking is because you have set you have set a schedule for your life that literally you planted and what you planted has everything to do with your dominant thoughts. Let's break this down. It is not enough that you already have to reap the harvest of the seeds that you plant. But I need for everyone to understand me clearly. The only reason why you even planted the seed that you're doomed to reap the harvest of is because your dominant thoughts told you to plant the seeds. That's not going to change, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to me. I'm trying to help you as calmly as possible with a tone as nice as possible but my tone won't change your harvest. Hear me. I, I, I know they're playing football. I know football's on. I know this coaching call competes. I use that in air quote with coaching, excuse me, with football. But that is not the case. This coaching call doesn't compete with anything, anybody, or any element or entity because exactly who needs to be here every week exactly who hears it throughout the week you were drawn to this moment because you needed it the only reason you plant what you plant is because your dominant thoughts think that's what you deserve to plant and that's what we have to talk about for the rest of the time that we have shared together you listen to me you listen to me well up until this point you fall in two you fall in three places for one you just don't grasp the concept that Everything in your life starts with a seed and you're reaping the harvest of all your seeds. You just haven't grasped that concept. Two, you fully grasp the concept of seeds and harvest, but you think that you are reaping the harvest of something you don't deserve. And that's the problem. Every harvest you absolutely deserve. You deserved every argument. You deserve every happiness you deserve every blessing because you know what nobody can ever take responsibility for your life but you and if you planted it 
Here's that third element. Deep down in your heart, you think that is what you deserve. And the reason why you don't have what you keep speaking into your life is because your intellect has nothing to do with your hands. Just because you intellectually think of something, just because you speak of something, let me push harder, just because you pray for something doesn't mean you're going to receive that because you're only going to receive what you think you deserve. There are thoughts. Thoughts are the things that run around in your mind. There are beliefs. Beliefs are thoughts that are filled with emotion. And then there is faith. And faith are thoughts that are filled with emotion that you are willing to die for. And most of you want a happy time, want money in your bank account. You want a good relationship, but you're willing to die for your level of self-esteem. That's not going to change until you decide to change. There's a funny thing about money. <coughs> Jim Rohn explains it one of the best ways possible, so I'll quote to you what he will quote to you. The funny thing about a million dollars is that you can't get a million dollars until you grow out to a million dollars. You can't get $500 until you grow out to $500. Ladies and gentlemen, you keep getting what you don't want because you haven't grown out to what you speak. Somebody write that down. You keep getting what you don't want because you haven't grown out to what you speak. And I say this with respect. You deserve more than your current level of self-esteem. You have been taught to be depressed. You've been taught to hate yourself. You've been taught to hate your significant other. You've been taught to hate your waistline. You've been taught to hate your feet. You've been taught to hate prosperity. And I am here to not only give to you, but to encourage you that what you have been taught is poverty. And poverty is unworthy of you. And so I want to encourage you I want to give it to you. The reason why you have what you do not want is because you haven't grown out to what you speak. You speak that you're going to be six figures in the next two years. But then the moment you say it, your subconscious takes over and you immediately have feelings that you're willing to die for that says that's not going to happen to you people like you don't get that only those kind of people make money never going to happen to you you know what you used to do you know your past how many of you are slaves to a past that is no longer worthy of you I hope I'm encouraging you I really, really, really hope I'm encouraging you. I hope that I'm educating you. Because I don't want you to walk out of here or leave here or disconnect from here. I just don't want you to do it. And then you get all happy. But then you're still broke. We don't have time for that. We don't have time for you to be happy and broke. What we need for you to do is not be happy and broke. We need you to be happy and in abundance. That's how your life should work. So, here it is again, and then I teach you how to get out of it. The reason why 
you have what you don't want, but you have all the negativity. You have all the negative things you want. You have the exact opposite of what you speak. The reason why, it's not because you don't know what you're doing. It is simply because you have not grown out to what you desire. <clears throat> Here's a more plain way to say that. Your dominant thoughts are not the prosperity that you speak. <clears throat> your dominant thoughts are the way your dominant thoughts come out after you speak your prosperity. If you are wondering what your dominant thoughts are, monitor your behavior. Wherever there is your behavior, there is your dominant thoughts. Listen to me, listen to me well, because I'm getting ready to teach you how to get out of this. I want all of you right now to take an honest assessment of your behavior. Monitor your behavior and you will see your dominant thoughts. Your behavior is simply your dominant thoughts in physical form. Your behavior is simply your dominant thoughts in physical form. Your body is a direct direct result of the dominant thoughts you keep in your mind. Your body is a direct result of the dominant thoughts you keep in your mind. Your health is a direct result of the dominant thoughts you keep in your mind. Your relationships, all of them, from your mom, to your dad, to your significant others, to your siblings, are a direct result of your dominant thoughts. Behavior is simply dominant thoughts in physical form. So if you don't know what your dominant thoughts are, I want you to look how you behave. How do you respond when someone offends you? That's your dominant thoughts. How do you respond when you can't control the situation? That is your dominant thoughts. How do you respond when you can't trust a situation? That is your dominant thoughts. How do you respond when you see your bank account balance? That is your dominant thoughts. How do you respond when you see your ex-lover? That is your dominant thoughts. How do you respond when you see a fight video strolling down your timeline? That is your dominant thoughts. How do you respond to injustice? Dominant thoughts. How do you respond to people who don't like you for no reason? Dominant thoughts. Every single behavior that you have is simply a dominant thought that is taking a physical form and is called your reactions. Your actions and your reactions are your dominant thoughts. Not what you practice to be, but what you automatically are. Those are your dominant thoughts. So ask yourself, ask yourself, is my behavior something that I should be proud of? Now, here's where it gets difficult. Because... <coughs> I want you to ask yourself, what do other people say I behave like? This is where it's hard. This is why poor people never take responsibility for their actions because they're not brave enough to hold these conversations and when they do, they lie. So let's try this here. If people tell you you're a certain way all the time, those people are telling you, this is what your dominant thoughts make me feel like. Very careful, because if people keep saying the same things about you over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over those are your dominant thoughts. So here's your fix. Now that we have identified why you are not getting what you speak, and, and listen, and listen, religious circles are very good for this. Speak it, pray about it, do this, do that, and all that works 
if your dominant thoughts are in alignment with the words that are coming out of your mouth. Prayer works. Meditation works. Speaking works. Abundant thoughts work. Affirmations work. If your affirmations are stronger than your dominant thoughts. <coughs> so here's how you fix it. If you're wondering how to fix your dominant thoughts, this is what you do. You simply stop focusing on what angers you. You stop focusing on what you don't want. You stop trying to fix yourself. See, this is very hard for some of you to accept because you've been told to fix yourself your whole life. You cannot fix a problem with the same consciousness that created it. Albert Einstein said that. Now, if you think Albert Einstein is a genius, you might want to listen to what he said. The reason why fixing yourself is a major problem, because not only can you not do it, but if you put your energy on what's wrong, wherever energy goes, that thing will grow. So if you're having problems in your life and you keep focusing on those problems, you're feeding that problem energy and wherever energy goes, that thing grows. You have a newborn. Give your newborn energy, that newborn will grow. You go out in back of your backyard and you plant seeds. You give that seed energy, that seed will grow. Everybody listen to me. Receive these words. Stop trying to fix yourself. You can't do it. If you have a consciousness that got you where you are, you cannot fix where you are with the same consciousness. Step number one, stop trying to fix yourself. Step number two, become your new you, okay? Stop trying to fix yourself. Become the successful self. This is how you change your dominant thoughts. Stop trying to fix yourself. That is positive energy going to a negative place. Stop trying to fix yourself. Stop. Stop trying to fix yourself. Stop trying to fix yourself. Let it be in repetition so you can receive it. Stop trying to fix yourself. Start becoming your successful self. <clears throat> this world is about becoming, not fixing. T.D. Jakes says it this way. And I love the way he says it. The more you run in your dreams, the more you also distance yourself from your past. Running towards your dreams automatically distance you from your past. Very important. Very important. So if you're just tuning in, <clears throat> this is why you don't have what you want. The reason why you don't have what you keep speaking is because your dominant thoughts keep taking over. Remember, a thought is what you have in your head. Beliefs are thoughts with emotion. Faith are thoughts that have emotion, which are beliefs, but you're willing to die for them, and that is faith. And stop trying to fix yourself because your dominant thoughts is what got you in the wrong place in the first place. And Albert Einstein says you cannot fix a problem with the same consciousness that created it. Listen to me. Please, everyone, I'm pushing to you the greatest transformational energy of all time from me. I am pushing to you the light. I am pushing to you light source, source unlimited. Receive what I am pushing Stop trying 
to fix yourself. I cannot stress this enough. Most people are coach and know you're so upset with your life and you keep going, I don't know what's wrong. Let me tell you what you do when you try to fix yourself. When you try to fix yourself, in fact, I dare someone to be transparent enough and agree, well, at least receive what I'm about to say next. When you try to fix yourself, the first thing you do is you isolate yourself. Your friends are going out. You're supposed to be in the meeting. And the first thing you do is when you have a problem, when you have the wrong consciousness, you fix yourself. And when you fix yourself, you isolate yourself. Do you know that the force standing against you, whether you want to call it the devil or negative energy, that is exactly where the negative force in this world wants you isolated. If this was war, why would I want you with your war friends with their war weapons? I would definitely want you all alone so I can defeat you. <clears throat> I'm trying to liberate somebody today. I know I'm going against your grain. I know I'm going against what you traditionally understand. I ask that you save this video. Go back and watch it. If you're making it this far, you have a shot. Step number one is to identify your dominant thoughts. How do you identify your dominant thoughts? Monitor your behavior. Your behavior is just your dominant thoughts in physical form. I will say it again. Your behavior is just your dominant thoughts in physical form. Your behavior is just your dominant thoughts in physical form. So step number one, if you want to start receiving the things that you are speaking, start identifying your dominant thoughts by identifying your behavior. Step number two, stop trying to fix yourself. Oh, receive this. Quote it. Hashtag it. Write it down. Take a picture. Stop trying to fix yourself. If you could fix yourself, you'd already be rich. Step number three, don't fix yourself. Become your successful self. You can't become a lawyer the day you graduate law school. You have to become a lawyer when you enroll in class. <coughs> This is very important. I need for all of you to receive this information. Stop trying to fix yourself. When you fix yourself, here's what you do. You isolate yourself. You cut everybody off who wants to help you. You go inside your mind and say, what's wrong? And then, excuse me for being blunt, then you piss yourself off. And guess what? When you anger yourself, when you become in a great state of anger, when you become irate, the only thing you're going to do is manifest more situations, circumstances, and people that will keep you angry. Stop trying to fix yourself. I told my leaders this the other day. It's something I teach people all the time. I will tell you why all of you are struggling right now. A thought is something that happens in your mind. When you have a thought, you speak that thought. When you speak that thought, you feel a certain way about what you spoke. When you feel a certain way about what you spoke, you think about it. When you think about it, you speak about it. When you speak about it, you feel about it. When you feel about it, you think about it. Watch the cycle. Think about it. Speak about it. Speak about it. Feel about it. Feel about it. Think about it. Think about it. Speak about it. Speak about it. Feel about it. Feel about it. Think about it. Can you understand how you keep yourself in a vicious cycle of poverty, 
if you only have poverty thoughts, because if you think it, you speak it. If you speak it, you feel it. If you feel it, you think it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to submit to you. Some of you are, no, nope, most of you are manifesting exactly what you don't want because you think it, then you speak it. And you feel the way about it when you speak it. And feelings are simply thoughts with emotions. I'll say that one more time <coughs> so you can get it. Repetition is a powerful thing. Learning is simply repetition. Thinking is speaking speaking is feeling and when you feel it it's automatically a thought remember what i told you there are thoughts and then there are beliefs thoughts are beliefs that have emotion okay so if you feel a certain way it is also a belief and that is why Keep dooming yourself to repeat exactly what you do not want. So, let's end this. I wanted to go an hour tonight like I normally do, but I want you to receive this. And so I want to keep it short enough for you to receive. I want to help you receive the way you get what you speak is to become what you're speaking right now. I can't stress this enough. Don't fix yourself. That's positive energy going in the wrong place. And if you keep trying to fix yourself, you're only gonna create more of what you're trying to fix. Become your successful self and you will live what you speak. My name is Antonio T. Smith Jr. I really hope that you understood today and that you were blessed upon today. At least empty yourself long enough to go back, watch this video again. Go up there, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching online. You will find more of this online. We, we're putting lots of this free coat. Listen, I am a businessman. So I'm not your regular type of coach. I don't charge people for most of what I do because this is not my primary source of what I do. I give this away. I'm trying to help you. Antonio Smith. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Download the podcast. Subscribe to that. Get all this free coaching. There are hours and hours and hours and hours of coaching that you can have. Change your life because you doggone deserve to have a new life. Thank you guys for coming out. I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you if you decide to plant better seeds, you will get you a better life. Thank you for coming out. God bless you and good night. I have felt so much in life. I've been so evil. I've done everything in life to mess it up. And I have. I have completely messed this life up. And then I changed. And then I start applying things. That I didn't know, but I always knew. You call it the law of attraction. Or maybe you don't. Or maybe you're religious and maybe you're not. Here is what I know. I know that we all have a karmic debt to pay off. And I have either paid mine off. Or almost off. And now I dedicate my entire life to you. Please know that as my life is dedicated to you, it means I get beat up a lot. But that's what this is about. It is about people like me putting their gains at risk for you. The crazy thing about life is once we get enough, whatever enough means, if you're a politician, it's enough votes. 
someone likes money, enough money, whatever enough is, a pastor, enough members, we tend to protect it. This podcast is not about protection. It is about you. I sincerely believe in you. I know you're going to be it. I know you're going to do it. Whatever that is for you. There are no mistakes. I want you to share this podcast, but not for personal gain. I want you to share it because I am giving you my every being. So you can turn around and do the same for others. I give away me. And then you give away you. I lower me so you can stand on my shoulders and then you return the favor and you lower yourself so someone else will stand on your shoulders and then voila. No one is lower than the other because we've all lowered ourselves. Finally, the music in this podcast that you're going to hear, I hope it gets stuck in your head. It's actually from my favorite movie, Cloud Atlas. It's the cover, it's not the original version, but it sounds just like it. Cloud Atlas is a great movie by the Wachowskis. My second favorite movie is The Matrix, but it has nothing to do with this right now. It is about repeating the same mistakes. So I'm hoping subconsciously that as you repeat the same mistakes, Cloud Atlas is mostly about ascending from those mistakes. So I'm hoping the words, the music, the melody, everything helps you ascend to where you're supposed to be, which is where you've always agreed you wanted to be before you got here. I love you. This is the secret to success law of attraction. I really, really know that this will be a blessing, a lifesaver to many people. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't plan better. You can dominate.